All right, everybody. Happy Thursday, November the 2nd. Good to see everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Thanksgiving month. Thanksgiving month. What are you thankful for? So the word for today, and hang around to the end because we got a Masaba. Get that voice ready over there in East Africa. We got a we we got some birthday people. We got some birthday people this morning. <laughs> He's like, I'm not understanding you, Brent. All right. So the word for today is determination. Determination. And thanks for the words you guys have been sharing with us. So we are we are getting to those words. But we have two birthday people. I've got to give a big shout out to Mr. Phil Ellis. Phil, you and Mark Elliott are on the same birthday. That's right. Mark tunes in every day as he's at work to the Coach's Corner. And Phil is a proud member of the Coach's Corner. So in saying that, we hope you have the most amazing day ever. We're going to sing to you at the end. So hang on here. But we're going to talk about determination first. It's firmness of purpose. What are you determined to do right now? You know, I look across and I, so many of you inspire me. Uh, I see Mark McConnell on. I mean, had a has had an amazing transformation and continuing to have, you know. But what are you determined to do right now? Is it your profession? Is it uh, going into the new year? Like, what, what, what things have you got laid out? that you're determined to do. If you look at the definition, it's firmness of purpose. Determination is defined as a firm intent or a decision to take action on something. And Tommy Lasarda, any of you remember Tommy Lasarda? Any baseball fans out there? Yes. He was a great manager of the base uh, MLB. The difference between the impossible and the possible lies in a person's determination. And it's so true. You know, I thought about this. We've all got dreams. Doesn't matter how old we are, but we've all got dreams. Like we want our health to be a certain way. We want our body chemistry to be a certain way. We want our, we want our, ability to thrive at our profession a certain way. We all have dreams, but in order to make the dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination. Would you agree with that? It takes a lot of self-discipline. takes a lot of effort. And what I found is I'm easily bored with the basics. So this is my lesson for today. I'm Brent Palmer is a flawed human, and I am my worst enemy. I'll start a health goal and start to see a difference in my body and my body chemistry and the way I feel, and I'll get bored with the basics. The basics are like, hey, just, just eat like this, and you will really appreciate your body. And then what happens is I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, and then I start getting bored. It becomes mundane. It becomes like, are you kidding me? And before you know it, I will get myself thrown right off the tracks into a different area to where I don't feel good. I'm starting to pick up weight and I do not like my body chemistry. Can anybody go there with me or is it just me? Okay. Same way with my profession. It's like, if I will just do this, this, and this, it's only about a half a dozen things that make up success in anything. But if if somebody said, hey, if you'll just make, like, if you'll reach out to like three people a day, you're going to end up growing a bit. And I'll do it, and I see that start happening. I, start, I grow, I grow, I grow, but then I get bored with the basics of reaching out. And I'll let two weeks go by, three weeks go by, a month go by, six months go by. And then I'm mad at myself because my business is doing this. So my goal today is let's stay determined. Like, because here's what happens when you stay determined in determination. 
It increases your chances of being successful. It helps you stay motivated and continuing to strive towards the goal you want to achieve. It enables us to, pers to stay the course when there's difficulty that strikes. And it also makes us more creative. Determination makes us more creative. Like if we're determined to do something, we'll find a way around it, under it, over it. Somehow we're going to get through so we can keep fighting to get on the other side to attack that goal that we want. So that's my thought about determination. Andrea, I'll turn it to you. Well, great lesson this morning, Coach. And the quote that I found was, I believe success is achieved by ordinary people doing extraordinary things. That was a lie. I messed that up. Hold on. Scrap that. Do it again. Do it. Repeat. Repeat. <laughs> Try that one more time. I believe success is achieved by ordinary people with extraordinary determination. That's what I get for thinking I memorized it. <laughs> Zig Ziglar. So beautiful quote. And, you know, I think we're all extraordinary but we probably walk through our life in a pretty ordinary way. But if we can have extraordinary determination, we can achieve anything that we put our little minds to. So how can we have more determination? How can we be more determined? That's what I looked into. So first of all, be a part of something bigger than you. And I think about, you know, many of us were part of the Limu family and we were helping families make it to Friday. We had unfinished business and man, doesn't it feel good to be a part of a cause? And I think about right now, like my whole mission is to get everybody healthier. Like let's all get healthier. And it's so much bigger than me or my business or the little things I'm a part of. It's, it's a mission. It's fun. It's exciting. And I get to celebrate with different people all around the globe that way. Next is let your past inform your future, and nothing more. Not determinant, right? Sometimes I think we can get stuck in the past. I've never done this before, or I've always been this way. And we let our past determine our future, but that's not a good way to be determined. Just let it be information, right? So always in the past, I chose to sleep in in the morning but I choose now to be more determined and I'm going to get up earlier. I don't know. You pick the thing. That was the first thing that came to mind. Um, next is to see your life and your future as totally within your control, right? So, you know, sometimes we can think that we don't own our future, right? It's in somebody else's hands. I can only manage so much. I can only control so much. And by, while that is true in many ways, our life is in our hands and our future is under our control. So go own it. Go make the changes that we need to make in order to own it. Learn, next is to learn to ignore the things that we can't control, right? So there are gonna be people in our life or circumstances or things that we can't change. So don't buy that course, as coach would say, let that go and focus on the things that you can. Number five is to celebrate the successes of others. Don't resent it. Have you ever been, let's just pretend, you're in an event. Okay, so you're in an event. <laughs> Somebody's coming into the house and Maddie's welcoming in. But you're in an event and all these people are walking across the straight, the stage. And sometimes if we're sitting there and we're not winning, we can resent it. We're giving storm cloud eyebrows, at least on the inside, right? Oh, good for them. Good for them. Good for them. But if we truly want to be determined, we are going to celebrate every success that we can. We're going to cheer them on because we're going to attract more of that into our life if we're sharing that excitement with other people. Next is never stoop to complaining, criticizing, or whining. The no complaining rule is a book that I probably should read like monthly. <laughs> I can be a little bit of a whiner. And I know, so I got to work on that. So stop complaining. You know, if you need to get a little, you know, what are those called? Like an elastic rubber band. There you go. And put it around your wrist every, wrist every time you complain, snap yourself, right? But don't stoop to complaining if you want to be more determined. Next is don't focus on others. Instead, work to impress yourself. We hear it all the time. Who's your competition? 
well, my competition isn't Melissa Jackson. I couldn't keep up with that. My competition's Andrea Rosser. So that's who I need to work to impress. So when I get up in the morning, well, I can be impressed that I got up a couple minutes earlier. Or when I go to make breakfast, I can be impressed that I made good choices. Or when I'm working in my business, I can be impressed that I reached out to a few more people. Just work on impressing yourself because that's who matters. Next is to constantly revisit your long-term goals. They're out there. They're in our future. But sometimes we write them on a piece of paper and then we put them in a drawer and we go back to life. And just like coach said, we get bored with the basics. We get distracted. We go in another direction. And then we open that drawer six months from now and we're like, shoot, I didn't do anything to get myself closer to that. So to be determined, focus and revisit those long-term goals consistently. Read that piece of paper once a month. Next is to count your blessings. If I want to be determined to go for a little bit more, I want to take a moment to count the million ways that I'm blessed today. And then lastly, if we set a goal and we really want to be determined to go get it, announce it to the world, right? So if your goal is in February, you're planning on being with us, there's a teaser. If you're going to be with us in February, maybe you want to be a different rank than you are today. Or maybe you want to have, you know, helped X number of people do something. Well, go announce it today. Then over the next few months, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. Who wants to cheer me on, right? Who wants to do it with me? Because when we announce it, we commit to it. So that's what I had this morning. Thank you, coach. I'm feeling determined. Hey, we're all determined. <laughs> we're going to go rock today. So happy Thursday and feel and Mark Elliott, we hope you have the most amazing birthday ever. So here we go. Clear your throat. <laughs> go clear. Happy birthday. 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 Happy birth